Okay. So for this question, I have Alia, Shanice, and Basini, but I think there are qu uh, quite a few of you lah, who didn't get this answer. So let's take a quick look. Um, so to start with this, identify the radius. So I got two radius and then it forms a straight line, so it's a diameter. And uh, I have a 90 degree. But it doesn't help us to solve this ACC, right? Because AEC is this blue angle over here. So um, I think it's important to recognize that you need this angle. Because once you find this angle, you are able to then find the blue angle. So you want to find ACE using something, right? So ask yourself ACE, so I use a different color. So ACE is actually formed by B and E, right? Because if I go down, it's actually formed by these two points. And B and E actually forms angle D. So I know that ACE is actually, so angle ACE is actually 28 degrees. Alright, so once I find that, then I can use, I can then find uh, AEC using triangle AEC. Alright, so sum of angle in the triangle, la. all the three angles add up is uh, 180. So check that the angle is 116. Second one. EFD is this um, EFD is this small angle here. All right. So to find the angle F, right? Uh, notice that F is not in the center, not in the circumference of the circle. So usually you have to use uh, sum of angle in triangle. So you notice that you are able to find angle FED, right? Angle on a straight line. Then uh, you can then find angle EFD. So note this angle is 88. Now let me share with you a uh, trick uh, because of the follow through right say for example AEC you cannot do then you just assume an answer so assume the a angle AEC is equal to 120 then uh, you'll be able to then calculate uh, the other angle uh, accordingly uh, even though it's wrong you will have follow through uh, so very crucial method uh, to show understanding uh, because you are not able to do Part A, not fair for you to be penalized throughout the whole question. So make use of this trick. Now, C, B, D is over here. So let me use another color. So C, B, D is this angle. So if I want to find this angle, then I got to ask myself, this angle is formed by C and D. So C and D also goes up to form this angle, oh, which means I have found earlier. Lah, huh? so, so this is actually equals to angle C E D, uh, which is your F E D, right? And this answer is uh, 64. Okay. Again, you may assume, uh, assume the part A part. Now, part two. Uh, part two, I have Isaac, I'm Amir, and Bassini. Uh, I think it's the formula that you're not sure. Um, so, it's important to recognize that uh, the formula is actually given in this is given right on page two. 
So turn to your page 2, you must see that it is given to you. So this is 140. Um, so the theta is actually 4.375. Now, this area, this area over here, is this area over here. Alright? And which means the theta, the theta is actually this theta. And this theta actually is, this is actually the reflex angle. So, what I see in some of you is you actually say that the reflex angle is equals to uh, take 2 pi minus 4.375. So, this is wrong because this is the angle and this is the reflex angle. So, the answer is 4.375. Okay, um, parameter, I think all of you understand. All right? It's just that the formula is, the, the, the A is wrong and then you got your B wrong. So the arc length is actually r theta. This is also given. Okay, and uh, the answer is fifty one. Uh, remember to add the two radius. Okay. Now next question nine. 